Welcome back to RimWorld. Thank you, comment section, for having a much better memory than me. So there were a couple of things yesterday that I basically made my life a lot harder with without realizing. So number one, uh, Pork, I think, as many of you point out, is the guy wearing the item, or not, maybe you've all lied to me, is the guy wearing the item that gives the lower immunity gain, uh, or not? <laughs> I thought maybe he was. Maybe you can't see immunity or, or sorry, infusements on this menu. Uh, but there was an item floating around somewhere that gave a minus 10% immunity gain speed, which explains why out of the people that got sick yesterday, some of them got immunity long, long before, like 20% ahead of the other people. So that might have been something to do with that. The other thing as well is uh, the reason I'm probably making so much kibble is because I might have turned it off here. No, I haven't. In conclusion, I don't know. <laughs> God knows, not that it really matters too much. Oh, man, look at all the ground runners working, though. Holy shit, nice. We need to set up a load of mining jobs, which was another comment I saw yesterday, and I do agree with. Seeing all of these guys go to work constantly, we essentially have five miners, and the ground runners give a higher yield as well. Um, I, th I think the comment from a few episodes said they give a higher yield than somebody with 20 in the skill, so... We might even want to start strip mining. I hate strip mining. It always causes a pain in the ass, really, uh, in regards to infestations. It's always more trouble than it's worth. I think it's still probably good to check out. Based purely alone on the fact that we have the Grand Runner economy going here, it would be good to uh, sort of see what we can dig up with that one. Another thing, too, apparently having two doors like this, even if they are held open, will cause people to slow down when going through it. So we'll remove the, uh, the, the door here and build sort of an airlock-style system instead to try and prevent that in the future what's going on with our power as well did we ever work out what the hell was going on there um probably the fact that i've built two more smelteries without the power to actually run them 700 watts per smeltery oh shit well there's your answer have they always been 700 watts that's massive okay um who's who's nearby what's it what's it do me a favor my friend let's get you to go ahead and turn these off for the time that's 1400 watts that we definitely do not have uh that might just about solve the issue now, everyone's been asking me as well to set up the manager mod. I did say we'd do it yesterday, but I wasn't going to really commit to it so early on. We'll get it done now. So the manager mod will allow us to micromanage certain things that are essential, but are kind of a pain in the ass to manage otherwise. Things like always making sure we have a certain amount of meat in our stockpile. Things like uh, always having a certain amount of wood. So if there are no tree designations and you run out of wood, that's it, obviously. In the base game, at least. With the manager mod, you can have them automatically go out and get more wood equal to the amount that you want them to grab. Apparently, another thing, which I didn't know we could do, is automatically cut trees around wind turbines. So instead of having all this crap down here on soil, which is garbage, we can move our crops up to much better soil and still have manageable wind turbines. We need solar panels, don't we? We need solar panels. I miss it when Remod gave you solar panels to start off with, because these things are really, really bad. What we might do, then, is... Seeing as we don't have, uh, seeing as we don't have the power to research multi-analyzer or run a multi-analyzer, let's go for solar panels first and foremost. The downside to solar panels normally is that say solar panel apparel. What? Uh, solar panel apparel. Droid solar panel. Oh, for androids, right? Okay, to to obviously power them, right? Cool. Um, the, the obviously the downside to solar panels is that they they like your. Uh, geothermal generators are kind of vulnerable. Obviously, you got to leave them outside. Sometimes you got to leave them outside of walls, especially with geothermal generators. But we've got, like, these entire gardens, and obviously this giant walled-off area now, where we can safely hide things and not have to worry about the enemies hitting them so much, especially as we've got a sort of two-tier kill box already. So let's go ahead and get that done as soon as possible. Get some power back into the base. Let's disable all non-essential systems. How warm is the base right now? 15 degrees. Get the heaters turned off, too. We'll keep the coolers on. Um, actually, do we even have any coolers that are taking heat out of the base? We don't. Well, let's get the, the heaters turned off as soon as possible. See if that's enough. And this area didn't really use much either, did it? No, it's 20 watts to, to warm the water up, so that's not the issue. Oh, man, it's just these wind turbines are garbage. Let's deal with that first and foremost. Aha, there we are. Okay, so we're just waiting there a little bit for the wind turbines to actually tip back up and start putting some power back into the base. What are we looking at now? Grid excess of almost 3,000 watts. Delta, let's get that research done as soon as possible. I want to today also get a dedicated research area built. No reason we couldn't just tack it onto the end of the base here, don't forget. So everyone's got a dedicated bedroom too, don't they? Um, the only thing we need to do in regards to bedrooms right now is plumb in what's its bedroom, which isn't too hard. Um, I'm going to do that just to stop the cable showing up. We could put a research area on the back of the base in this zone. That way it also removes some overhead mountain. Um... But which, in theory, should hopefully stop the insects being such a pain in the ass. So I am, for the time being, just going to do 
Uh, let's put some walls down right along the edge here. Let's just do that. And then we'll deal with the back walls later on. And then we'll treat this as a brand new research area. Just get some doors on there for the time being. We'll have to build a whole fresh research bench. Obviously, multi allies is the one thing you can reinstall and the one thing we haven't got right now. So that's just going to go to waste. But I think we've got a shitload of steel now because these guys are finished with that. 478 down there. And then somewhere is some more steel. Uh, 707. Yeah, that's, that's quite a lot. Now, apparently, these skips are not working as intended. And I don't entirely know why. There was a comment that said something like they're supposed to be able to take all types, not just one type. So right now, obviously, it's only got flat jackets on that one. Only got lab coats. Only That one's only got blouses. That one's only got uh, pants. Somebody said they're supposed to be able to take everything. But I've, I've looked through. This is the extra storage mod, by the way. I've looked through the settings, but there's not anything we can adjust there. So I, I assume that's just a mod conflict. Um, I'll try changing the load order with that tomorrow. But there doesn't seem to be anything we can adjust in the mod settings to make this work as is intended. It's still saving us a little bit of room, don't get me wrong. Obviously, we've, we've got all of these flat jackets, four flat jackets in one square. Well, technically two, I guess. Same with the flat pants and, and things like that. So it's saving a tiny little bit of room, but it's not working as intended. So as I recall, to get the manager mod working, we need a manager's bench, don't we? So I'm not sure if setting up any jobs will actually do anything this early on, but we'll give it a go. Um, so forestry, we want to chop. All trees are fine. Um, we want to get... How much wood do we want in the base? Should we just say, like... Man, I, th I think 300 wood at all times is probably going to be fine. Um, count all on map checker targets are reachable. That's definitely worth it. Calculate distance based on actual path. Um, with a large amount of possible targets may lead to significant lag spikes. Okay, right, because you're constantly rechecking that. Uh, let's allow logging in anti-mechanoid for a start. Let's go ahead and manage that. So now they should chop down wood until we have... 302. Apparently we have 256 in storage. Oh, we actually do. Yeah, okay. That makes a lot of sense. Wh whereabouts, though? Since we've got 256 in storage, but God knows where. Um, oh, right there. Cool. I, I, I don't know why then. For a second, when I told him to build that, he said that he didn't have any. Um, but I guess since then, they've gone out and chopped some more. God knows what's happened with that one. Um, okay, cool. That might be it then. I don't know if we've really got to do anything else after that. Clear areas. Oh, to keep wind turbines running smoothly. Ah, oh, look at that. Deny any enemies any possible cover in killing fields. Yes. Uh, so so wood logging. And then we set a new job. Uh, or it says there an oo job to clean area. We want to clean wind turbine cells inside home area. That makes a lot of sense because home area will also cover. So they'll just remove all wood from there. Okay, that's way too much. Why don't we make a, a cleaning area then? Seeing as we don't actually have the cleaning mod. Oh, that's just for cleaning bots though, isn't it? Speaking of which, I need to update that. Um... I'll make a new zone very quickly and also update the cleaning area then. And we'll call it like tree clearing or something like that. Um, yeah, there's a lot of extra zones here that I completely forgot to add to this one. Not that the corners like that bit being so precise will matter too much, but we might as well. We've already got we've, we've got two cleaning bots. Uh, and, and the size of the base we've got is already way... It, it's already able to be covered probably quite thoroughly by a single bot to the extent that we don't have to worry about... You know, maybe making it too large. It's it's all it's, it's enough area for one bot, let alone two. So we've got plenty of leeway there with that one. Um, so that's all the cleaning area done. Let's go ahead and make another one then and call that no trees. That that's, uh, makes a lot of sense. Let's call it no tree central. I didn't mean to do that in caps lock, but that's it now. Okay, <laughs> manager, let's go ahead and say, or not, uh, new job. There we are. No tree central, clear areas. Uh, no tree central, clear wind turbine cells. And uh, do you want to remove just ugly trees? I feel like that's not for us to judge. We're going to say all trees, obviously. Um, and that's just within the no tree clear. So I'll go ahead and I'll set that up for, for fuck's sake, really. <sighs> Bear with me here. Apparently, if you double click it, the delete button is in the same place as the <laughs> as the manage button right there we are. So now we want to set that up just around our wind turbines. That's cool because it means we can sort of min-max the areas that we don't want plants to grow in or maybe take advantage of, say, like around here, for example, all this rich soil is going to waste. It would be much better to grow whatever crops we've got on that instead. But I haven't gone too crazy with it. I've, I've, I've removed the trees from this area so that they don't... I mean, they shouldn't anyway because it's roofed over. Um, so that's probably irrelevant, but it can't help to be... You know, just in case one of these is knocked down or something like that, probably couldn't help to be safe. Same with this zone as well. I'm removing some trees from the entrance of the um, the main bases where traders are going to come through if they decide to actually come here. And then besides that, just the wind turbines. So we can redo a lot of these farms. Uh, I think we can probably go ahead and delete this one entirely. Um, let's stick to just the fertile soil then. So we've got plenty around here that we can work off of. 
Um, and then this one is, yeah, visibility of terrain affordance. Man, there's so much to work with. Holy shit. Okay, there we go. So that's a pretty decent research area we've got. I've started to get them to put down some doormats too there so that we're not just traipsing a shitload of dirt. I need to make sure the animals also aren't just using the, what will be the research lab as just an area to pass through. Let's also put down some wood panels there. Do we have enough resources to put down a new research bench immediately? We absolutely do. Um, put it in the center of the room that way because there are a lot of mods that add linkables for the research bench so advanced multi-analyzers scientific cabinets there's computer stations all sorts of things that will hook up to this um let's make sure that we give it plenty of room around it here and then also want to work on the outside walls as well how much limestone we got left 371 we could just i guess square the room off a little bit uh do something like do something like that temporarily uh get the ground runners to work as well and then Gives us plenty of room for expansion later on if we want it. I'm very concerned about insects, infestations, anything like that, because we've we've had so many issues with them. I think every uh, of the past, like, five series we've had, we've had some insect-related problems. So let's be a little bit careful about how far we go with expansion here. Similarly, this area down here, I've started to fill back in um, to try and limit exactly that, to try and stop more infestations. Now that I'm confident the lights will stay on for more than five minutes. Multi... Analyzer. Right, cool. Okay. After that, we'll get a more dedicated hospital. So we'll get more hospital beds. Obviously, the surgical lamps, the vitals, monitors, the surgical instruments. All of those give a nice hefty bonus to our... To our... Help me. What, what's the word? Di not disease resistance? No, immunity gain. There we are. Um, to immunity gain, surgery success chance, all of that stuff. We can probably already build intravenous drip stands, but they require four medicine. Now, we can craft medicine with heel root and neutramine, and we can craft neutramine when we get refineries. So I'm thinking, next one we should go for then is uh, regular old refining, wherever that is. Is that bi- Maybe we need, um, let's get biofuel refining, and then maybe biological distillation. Oh, that's for questionable ethics. Um, that's a long way away. That's when we start cloning our mecha orc army. Sterile attire also probably wouldn't hurt to give to our doctors. We can have an armor rack in the hospital where they swap out to. That could genuinely work. Um, for the time being, let's not, let's not go that far. Sterile materials probably couldn't hurt afterwards, but I'd love to get a better hospital before the end of today. Because there have been, like, multiple occasions so far in this relatively short series that have had life or death immunities associated with them. So, what the hell's even going on there? What's it in rows? Are they together? I had no idea. Um, what's it tried to chat Rose? Rose agreed to the hookup. Oh, hello. Um, Smooth Octopus tried, tried to chat up What's It. Smooth Octopus just approached What's It and Rose for a threesome? Is that what you're, is that what you're telling me? I was so confused. I thought that was another couple that we had to um, give a bedroom to. Yeah, I thought that was the case. So it does say that we need a manager's desk, and I have no idea if we even can build one yet, whether we have to do the research first. Um, production? Manager's, basic manager's desk. There we are. We might as well put this in the research room, because apparently it only takes a few seconds for them to come by once a day and actually do their jobs. So we'll put this in here as well. This is like, um, this can be like the, the, the sort of management executive room of, of dealing with the basis problems. And then in here we'll have all the, all the generic sort of grunt work, I guess. We'll turn this into a proper workroom in a second. Do we need so many stone cutting benches? Um... Eventually, we can get electric stone cutter benches eventually as we get all the tool cabinets and stuff as well. I mean, firstly, we are, we will have electric stone cutter benches, so we'll remove one because at the end of the day, we can just upgrade it. Uh, but more importantly, I don't think we'll need three because of all of the various work speed bonuses we can try and get. Look at that. There we go. Okay, cool. Um, let's get this one done as soon as possible. Who do we want to be colony manager? What is managing adjust? Is that set by... Oh, that's set by intelligence. Uh, okay. So we might as well have Delta also do that take a little bit of time out of a day of researching too. That's kind of cool. It means that we're not wasting so much time because if there is no research to do, this room's going to fallow. So having that be in the same room is quite nice. How long will that take? Um, we crashed the game? No, we're good. There we are. I guess it was just assigning new things to be cut down. That's it. Ah, oh, shit. In the distance, a tittering laugh is heard mocking an inhuman. Something is coming. Um, I was told that apparently we can just go to the wildlife tab. Uh, and on here, we'll be able to find the enemy just by clicking on it, essentially. So, um, either the enemy tab or one of the other tabs, but we'll, we'll give them a little bit longer. I should really draft my people up preemptively, though. Let's do it, then. Let's, let's get to the, uh, get to the, the kill box. I don't know what it will attack first. Hopefully, it doesn't attack the animals. 
What we could do is just have the animals all bundled up somewhere. We could, we could send them all inside, because then it would have to bash down the doors to actually get to them. Um, let's do that. Let's make a new area, and let's make emergency animal zone. Uh, emergency animals. Perfect. Uh, let's go ahead and set that up inside the barn. Probably the safest place, right? There we go. Okay. That way, in the event of star vampire attack, in the event of drop pods, anything like that, we can very quickly get the animals into somewhere where they're not going to get annihilated. The goat goat. I didn't even notice that. That's so cool. All right. Get to position, team. Let's see what we can do. Bear in mind, it will take the animals a while to actually get to where they need to go. What the fuck are you guys doing? Go! Emergency animals? Have I done this wrong? Nope, they are just ignoring me. Oh, wait. Wait, what What the hell did I... Oh, no. Don't tell me I... Get... What have I done? Did I set that as no tree central? You moron. All right. My bad. <laughs> trying to work out what the hell was going on there. Emergency animals. Let's try it again, shall we? Let's do that. Perfect. All right. Please fuck off. Thank you. There we are. All right. Where is this enemy then? Let's go to the wildlife tab. Uh, star vampire? Star vampire. Nothing quite yet. Maybe it hasn't spawned in yet. Can't see anything. Oh, there it is. Oh, it's attacking the fucking cleaning bot. Wait, is this spawn inside our base? That's quite frustrating. Um, little cleaning bot, I need you to do the following. Can we, can we program our orders? Can I say go left, then go forward down? Yes, you can. Go forward down, go forward down, go left, go forward down. Uh, go left, left, down, down. Shit. Cleaning bot is dead. Long live cleaning bot. Uh, Sharamus, you might be up here, friend. Uh, everyone else, just just take a line. Uh, a line up, that is. Don't, don't, like, do a line of coke. All right, there we go. What's it doing? It's just standing there menacingly. It is actually just standing there. Oh, fuck off, Helotos, really? Okay. It is just standing there menacingly. Well, let's let's go ahead and stand all the way over here, then. See if we can get Sharamus to bait it out. Good luck, team. Hello, friend. Uh... You interested in some of that? Oh, there we go. There we go. Pull up. Pull out. Pull out. Get out of there. Get out of there. Get out of there. Run, 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 run. Sharamus! Okay, okay. We're fine. We're fine. What the fuck is it doing? More importantly, how can you hit that from there? Okay, never mind then. Um, Line up up here. And we can apparently just shoot it anyway. That's a bit dumb. All right. Uh, Go for it. Stop shooting the wall. What's wrong with you? Halatos, you moron. You absolute fool. Uh, yeah, this is the, the difficult raid that I really expected it would be. We can probably safely go to speed two here. 10 out of 10. Well done, team. More star vampire capes as far as I'm concerned. Get it, get it hauled. Let's also go ahead and repair our poor, our poor little robot too. Born Incorporated, Bolt Goods Trader. Well, what I want to do before we start messing around with Bolt Goods Traders is actually get down some solar panel things. We went to all the effort to, to actually build some or, or to research some. Um, where do we want to put that? I guess it doesn't really matter too much. Anywhere on stone, preferably. Um, on stone out of the way. Like, back here is, is the perfect area for it. Stone we're not going to use for anything else. Oh, actually, there's a couple of roofs there, you fool. Um, let's be a bit more careful about where I'm putting those down in hindsight. Right, so we'll put one there. Um, and then we can kind of stagger them a little bit. But I don't think we'll need that many. We'll just do that. There we are. They've got optimal coverage there. We're not using up any potential growing room. Not that we're going to use that much growing room anyway. Plus, we can hook them straight into the grid by going like that. Okay, well, let's get little pork on that as soon as possible. We should immediately start rushing over there. Very nice. Um, uh, let's see what these guys have got then. So we need to be careful not to trade away any... We need to not trade away any... Steel components. Not that I would anyway. We need to keep our plastic. We need to keep our gold. I know that we're not going to use that as much gold as we've got right now, but I want to keep some because I think for the advanced multi analyzers, we'll need to keep some for that too. Uh, can buy some cows? Get some milk? That probably wouldn't hurt. Buy a bull and a cow? I am, to be fair, we've got 3,400 silver. Bear in mind, we had that massive silver vein right by our base that we've since mined out. Um, well, let's take a look. They do have Neutramia, but we can refine our own, so that's not too relevant. Chthonian Chitin I want to keep, because that is quite a cool rare item. Oh, we could buy some medicine and, and skip the middleman and just buy... Um, build those intravenous drips as soon as possible. I feel like that's worth doing. Obviously, I wouldn't normally buy medicine, given the amount of potential medicine we've already got lying around in the form of the, the stuff that we need refining into Neutramia. But to be able to give us the intravenous drip stands earlier to keep our people alive, I think I'm going to do that. Uh, steel, give me that shit. Give me your plasteel as well if we can afford it. We can't. Oh, shit. Um, don't get too crazy. That's the important thing. Let's not go too nuts with what we decide to buy. Now, there's been a lot of debate in uh, the comment section and in 
Discord about the bees. I'll be honest, I like the idea of bees. But I feel that given the amount of time that people have been telling me they take, given the amount of, of, of fiddliness that would resolve, re re revolve around uh, managing these bees, given the actual spreadsheets I'd have to keep track of, I don't think we'll be doing them this series. I honestly don't know that we'll be doing them in any series. They, they seem as something that would be better for me to just play on my own, not recorded, because there's so much associated with them. There'd be a lot to keep track of. I'm sure you guys would be able to help me out with that, but I feel like they're not a, a, a very good... They don't translate to video very well. That's probably the best way to phrase it. So we'll, we'll maybe leave that one for the time being. And, and maybe if we do a future like dedicated farming series, they could always come back in that one. Right, we might as well sell all of these clothes that we're not wearing because we're not wearing them and we've set up a very specific um, bill of apparel. Synthra Duster of Discovery. Maybe that might be worth... What does that do? 105% research speed. Not worth it. The jacket that takes up the same layers already does more than that. Now, the flak jacket, speaking of jackets, we will hang on to for... Um, we'll, we'll hang on to those for when we build the armor axe, which is another thing I want to get done today. I think everybody's got a pair of gloves, so we'll sell those. Um, Dormit will get rid of. Interactive tables. Ah, oh, now those are the ones that give recreation as you eat off of them, aren't they? Um... A table for eating off with an interactive display for watching shows, playing games, taking notes. You can get a 4x4 version of that, which would be a lot better for the size of the colony we've got. So we won't worry about that one too much. Uh, a slate Luigi board. Um, cerebral play. I don't really see the point of actually buying that in that case. We've got Janko, whatever the hell Janko is. Oh, it was Django, got it. We've got the Game of Strife. I think that's fine. I think that's okay. We're going to spend a thousand gold on, on kind of the essentials again. Um, load of steel definitely can't hurt. 28 medicine is absolutely fantastic. Buy another advanced component. Probably couldn't hurt as well. Maybe some regular components too. As far as I'm concerned, having steel, uh, sorry, having silver just sitting in our treasury doing nothing is a waste. We're always going to need more components. We're always, did I just buy mushrooms by its now? I mean, didn't mean to. We're always going to need steel. We're always going to need components. Having it around like that is, is genuinely just a waste of time. Steel has no opportunity associated with it. See, that's not entirely true now that I think about it. I guess the only thing you can really do with it is the sterile materials. What are you crafting that we definitely don't need? Overalls. What, is that what you're crafting? Oh, because you're dropping them straight on the floor. Moron. Stop that. Um, actually, oh, because I sold all the spare ones. Wait, but it's one per colonist plus one, so it sh she should only ever make one extra, right? Oh, but it's not in the stockpile. Get that shit hauled. Hopefully that'll stop that happening from the future. Uh, it's obviously where we've we've moved the... Uh, no, 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 no. I didn't mean you to do that. Well, it's Chthonian Chitin, so it probably is an upgrade either way. Um, yeah, that's that's my bad. I, I didn't mean to obviously set up those jobs and then immediately move over the stockpile. That's probably what's causing this to conflict there. Actually, no, it's still not. Um, make overalls 8 plus 1 extra. We clearly have that right there. Uh, your guess is as good as mine, then, in that case. Counts equipped. Eight plus one extra. Is somebody not wearing any? No, people are definitely wearing them. Well, fuck knows. We'll see what she does. Eight out of eight plus one. Oh, eight plus one is nine, genius. Apparently, we've only got eight. So, someone must not have it equipped. Probably pork, in that case. Because we can obviously physically see that everyone's got it equipped. No, he has it as well. I don't know. I don't know. I can't answer your question. Another bulk goods trader. Oh, cool. Okay. Um... Delta, once again, if you could... Wait, which one was this one? This was Serana, right? Um, let's go ahead and call those guys up, see what they've got for us. Now, she's wearing the two cup for the for the extra prices. Oh, shit. Did I get upset to do the last trade? My bad. I completely, I completely forgot which way around it was. Oh, the devil sheep. Uh, as long as we can keep them safe, eventually we're going to turn a pretty nice profit from those guys selling the extra devil strand. Um, what have these guys got that we want? They've got more medicine, more advanced components, regular components. I should really just buy every advanced component we see. Bearing in mind that... The end game component usage, the advanced component usage, is very, very, very expensive. Right. Do you guys want to buy... Well, we can sell them some legs. Psychic Silencer is a bit irrelevant. Oh, apparently somebody said that um, the Psychic Silencer doesn't just hide the fact that the Empire uh, won't lose opinion with you. Because I said it's, it's a bit pointless having this because we're already at war with the Empire, so why would I care? Apparently there's also a chance the Empire can just raid you if you use the Psychic ability you're not, are not authorized to. So... Maybe there is a good reason to to keep that. Um, or why are they also only giving us zero point? Oh, because we're selling, right? Got it. Uh, I guess that must be to do with the difficulty. Right. Do you guys have anything? Oh, they've got a hauler bot. Right. We've got to buy the hauler bot. There's no question about it. Um, the animals are already doing a lot of good hauling, but the hauler bots are so much faster at doing so. Uh, as I recall, they're also not affected by terrain. I would really love to buy your devil sheep as well. 
Minus 6,251. Yikes. Okay. Sell them the insect meat. Sell them the plant meat. We could sell them some rice. How, how much food have we got kicking around? Oh, is that it? Okay. Maybe we won't in that case. I think we need to forget about the sheep. We, can, we physically can't afford it. We still can't afford it. Even dropping the sheep in hindsight. So I'm selling them some various meats because we do not need the amount that we've got. Um, I'm selling them our various leathers too. We've got 1,600 cloth. Obviously, I want to keep a load of cloth for when we get the fine floors, but selling some of that might be necessary here. Um, some 900 of that. There we go. Okay, fair enough. We're not gonna, we're not gonna miss that much cloth. We haven't got fine floors yet, so we're just sitting on a stop pile. That's a waste of time. Right, let's get this hall of set up. Aramon's got sick from an infection. Oh my god, from a social fight. Wow, that's a bit annoying. Um, oh, you prick. Okay. Um, Rose... Dr. Dr. Rose, if you don't mind, please could you... No, get out of here, Watsit. I, I like having Watsit set up as a spare doctor, but I would prefer it if always your best doctor was the one to operate on them. Let's get, then, these intravenous drip stands put down. There's a much more effective way we can do this. If we were to have all the hospital beds clustered around the center like that, that would make a lot more sense. So I'm going to do exactly that and sort of really min-max things, maybe unnecessarily. There we are, 121% now immunity gain speed from the IV drip. So that was definitely, definitely worthwhile. Um, let's also get that hauled back into the... Where? What? No! If I'd have wanted you to haul all that shit, I'd have told you to haul all that shit, you weird man. He's hauling everything. In the wrong order as well. Why did he not do the... For fuck's sake, and now he's going to come all the way back and put that in the... How is that any better? Fucking ridiculous game, honestly. I'm going to finish redoing the rest of the hospital. The cool thing about this as well, we can save a little bit of room by removing uh, the spare end tables here. I know that you guys are injured, but I'm going to draft you up very quickly just so we can get this stuff reinstalled, and then they can immediately get back into bed there. Cool. So now all the beds are going to be affected by the IV drip, and they're going to be affected by half the amount of end tables that we would have needed before. Get into bed. Never. Never consume simple meals when you people are dying. I'm so sick of this already. Uh, what are we looking at? 15%. Yeah, he's going to be fine. But it's definitely worth taking these precautions just for future situations when it's definitely nowhere near going to be as fine. I feel like it's a much better thing I could do rather than having the heat from the freezer constantly be lost every time they feel the need to go through here. So why don't we divide this through into a butcher room? Uh, a Butcher, maybe we could put some... No, it's probably even then not worth putting the animal corpse in there. Have a butcher room, and then this area that we mined out, we could revert back into an expansion for the freezer. That would make a lot more sense, rather than wasting all this wood doing basically nothing. Um, the only other thing we need to do, though, to make it work perfectly is to mine right out so that we can actually get some, get some coolers in here. So put a cooler there, for example. Let's go ahead and mine out all this area. Um, what we'll do is we'll get that one done first before we open up the rest of the freezer. Actually, that should be safe to do. That way, there's still a nice buffer for the coolers. Should should prevent this from should prevent this from leaking all the heat out. Oh man, a cold snap. Um, I did put all the heaters back on, but that's still not going to be sufficient for the entire base, is it? We'll have to put some in these more distant rooms. So if we have one between Pork's room and Smooth Octopus's room, that'll keep Sharamus's room obviously heated by. Oh, and all this stuff is connected up, right? Yeah, but that also connects it up to the workroom. We might want to close the vent here and just give the workroom its own dedicated heaters. Because that's quite a large room to try and heat with. Although I guess it won't matter too much, right? We'll try and equalize it across the whole base. That way we can see where the weak points are for heating. I'm not going to bother with the storage room. That's completely irrelevant. Um, this room I'm hoping will be okay because it's quite small. Only has one heater in it. Fingers crossed. Now, I am going to also double up on the edges of the freezer here. I'm going to double up and make sure that those have... Twice the thickness to try and save on a little bit of power here. Mainly because power is still a massive pain in the ass. But more importantly, if we have people running through like the amount they bloody are, it should stop too much heat loss. Basically, exactly what we did in the, um, exactly what we did in the Alvin series, right? How you doing, little Sharamus? Uh, untended needs tending now. That can't have been long because it wasn't too long until I manually tended him last time. 9% immunity, 50% infection. It's going to be absolutely fine. You probably shouldn't be using the uh, the better medicine on him there. 100%. Yeah, you're good. 92%. We could have just completely left him, to be honest with you. And then was it not the overwall coolers? We have the longer versions. Yeah, there we go. So we can use the double thick walls for the insulation. And we get the benefit of being able to use the wider coolers as well to ensure that, that works without having to put any sort of dents in it. Cool. Um... Auto doors on this is going to be essential, eventually, but for the time being, it's actually not a big deal. Let's do that as well. Put a little bit of airlock on there so that all of this, uh, go into all these extents to try and save it. Let's make sure that we're not just wasting the heat as they go in and out there. Shouldn't really matter too much, I guess, but I'm going to be a little bit more careful. Um, mainly because I also want to put a heater in here. Because if our 
Actually, yeah, he's in both of these rooms with a vent between probably couldn't hurt. Let's go ahead and get that done. Um, I would like to, as we start doing the Elven series, double up the walls on the outside of the base as well, just to try and stop raids. Okay, I thought it was going to be a raid then, given the slowdown. There we are. Look at that now. With the amount of people going in and out, it is a solid, constant minus nine in here, which is exactly what we want. That's the perfect remote freezer right there. Um, it, it, it looks hideous, sure, but it's just to keep food cold at the end of the day. Very nice. Okay, that's that dealt with. We've obviously got a better research room. What else did I say I was going to do today? Obviously, we dealt with the power issues as well. Um, still working on that old multi-analyzer. That's taking freaking ages. We could start setting up a second researcher. Because I think it would be a waste to have some of the, the, the skilled characters that we've got just fishing all day, right? So if we put down another one there, we could put the multi-analyzer in between and then advanced multi-analyzer's computer system sort of behind them as it becomes more relevant. But I would like a second researcher just based purely on the fact that we have the world's biggest fucking research tree right here. What's it's also very good at research. It seems a shame to have him fall back on, especially during times like now. Cold snap, there are no plants to sow. What's he supposed to do otherwise? I mean... Hunt? Fish? Obviously, there's no hunting designations either. It's just a waste of time for my man to be out there doing all the grunt work. Apparently, we have no wood as well. I wonder if that's because we got through it all in one day. So, if we go up to the manager tab, you can set the frequency of which jobs... Of which jobs are refreshed. So, how do I change that so it is a more frequent job? Um, every... Eight hours probably couldn't hurt. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, and that one every eight hours as well. Obviously, the more frequently you do it, the slower it's going to make the game. But this way, uh, all jobs done. I thoroughly disagree with that. Do I have to set it to a repeating job or something like that? 19 out of... 19 out of 30... What does that mean? Oh, is that like when it'll unpause? Um, oh, God, that's horrible. Um, I have no idea. I've upset, that, I thought that meant that we've got 19 in our stockpile out of the 302... Yeah, zero expected from current designation. She's just not designating extra things to chop down quite yet. Maybe that maybe that change that we've made there will uh will update that in a second. Okay, so she just managed that. What has that done? Um 315. Oh, expected from current designations. Right. So I, I was just concerned then for a second that I hadn't got it set up properly, but that has dealt with the issue. Where are they getting from? Is this the ones closest? Oh, it's the ones closest to, I guess, the bench that issues the job, perhaps? Else from that, living them up because of dangerous temperature. That's reasonable. Oh, they had these. I was going to say giraffes, but those are quite clearly not giraffes in hindsight. Civitheriums. I need to keep checking for rare animals that pop up on the map. That Are you an elephant? Oh, you are an elephant. You're a small elephant. Um, Yeah, we need to keep checking for rare animals that might pop up. A smooth octopus out of everyone is the only one to have the slept in cold debuff. 20 degrees. You think that's fucking cold? Why? Because we built that, hills that heater long before she went to sleep. Darkness, minor pain. Well, that's because you stood outside in the cold, you moron. You can't blame me for that one. To be fair, they are wearing just overalls and um, whatever else it was, jumpsuits. We could do with some outer layer clothing for everybody as well. I assume they can't wear flat jackets over everything else they've got. Oh my god, they can? Oh, wow. Okay, hang on. <laughs> that changes things a little bit. It's it's the flat pants they can't wear because that conflicts with overalls. Yeah? Yes, it does. Okay, um, go ahead and put those back on then. Right, interesting. So we can have flight jackets with what they've got. You fool. I should have set that up then. Uh, chef can't and builder can't because the chef should be wearing a chef's jacket. Although in hindsight, it looks as if he's not. Um, chef's uniform. Oh, well, that's that still is going to be on a different layer to the... Well, there is that. Skin. Yeah, everybody can wear flight jackets besides Port the Builder. Which, to be fair, what does the Builder outfit actually give? This, this, is, this could quite legitimately be the difference between life and death. Construction, speed 10%, um, repair success, and construction. Well, success chance is pointless. It's just the speed here. Um, do we want things built faster, or we do, do we want our man to be slightly more bulletproof? I feel like that's an obvious... I feel like that's an obvious uh, question, isn't it? Obviously, I'm going to make him bulletproof here. Let's go for the flak jackets for everybody, then. What the fuck are flak jackets? Uh, do they count as armor? Uh, oh, they do. Flat jackets. Right, okay. Let's go ahead and set those up on basic then. Uh, flat jacket for you. And then builder is fine. And then chef also needs flat jacket. So the only difference is basically just the helmets they're wearing once again. Very nice. At long last, episode 47, we finally have the multi analyzer. Okay, obviously it hasn't been that long, but it feels like it's been absolutely ages. A very long time coming, seeing as this is <laughs> kind of your basic early RimWorld item. Um... I, damn, I kind of want to drop that down now. We're going to put it here just to give our builder a bit of root behind these if we have to put down anything else. Is there anything else we can build? 
Machining cabinet, smithing cabinet. Uh, nothing else here connects up to what we've got, I think. And it will obviously add those on uh, as, as we unlock more and more and add them directly to the workbench management. Let's get port to build that as soon as possible. And we've just opened the game up, thank God, at long last. I can't believe how long that took. So today, then, recap. Power's dealt with. Uh, farms are dealt with. Manager is dealt with. The uh, freezer is dealt with. We've got a slight hospital upgrade. We've redone the workroom, obviously, and and, and uh, added a little bit extra to the stockpile, but that was mostly yesterday's stuff. Research room is done. I'm pretty happy with the progress. I think this has gone very well. I will admit, the storyteller is nowhere near as aggressive as what I expected. It's kind of disappointing, really. We haven't had a raid in a very, very, very long time. Even then, it was mechanoids, which didn't really do anything. It was three scythers. So I may once again go back to looking at the difficulty of things. Because for me, I mean, last series we played on, obviously, Merciless. And going from Merciless to this, this feels like just a city builder. Which, don't get me wrong, SimCity 2000 is one of my favorite games of all time. But this is not where I expected us to be. I was like, what the fuck is that? How is that a camel? Good God. So I will take a look at that. And uh, we'll, we'll hopefully ramp things up ready for tomorrow's episode now that we, we, we you know we, we've sat really comfortably while we've been building everything up we really do need to crank things up to make up for it otherwise this is just a, a luxury building sim like i said a big thank you goes out to our insane top tier level patrons who are more important than ever uh over the next couple of coming months because times are times are very bad in the youtube space am i allowed to say that doesn't matter what are they, are they what are they gonna do sack me then and pay me anyway thank you to jonah waters sarabee seric 313 orcswell chris Limpy George, Ninja Tree V, Alchemia, De Ectofritz, Grimwolf, William Green, Derek, Lucas, Paul, and everyone else at the Insane Tier Lovers on Patreon as well. I noticed that a few people have backed at the higher tiers on Patreon. Bear in mind, we do run a opt-in Patreon system to ensure that people aren't being doxxed or having their names given out when obviously they didn't want to. So please get in touch if you want to shout. That could be anything you want. Nickname, real name, other name entirely. You let me know and I'll, I'll make sure you get the credit you deserve. Speaking of people who deserve credit, it is the rest of the Patreons on my big Patreon list, including Void Prince Kibo, Deadly Kitten Hunt, Astro, Jacob Wolfie, Kiko, Jackson, Smirtworm, Foosh, Night Rouge, Jeebus Crust, My Name Isn't Dio, Sweet C, RKL, William H, Talar, Betamus Max, and Dranmir as well. Thank you guys for your support over at Patreon. See you guys all tomorrow for some difficulty, maybe? Maybe crafting some weapons and even giving them a little bit of a shoot?